A painting structure is the picture plane or frame and the lines within that frame, whether it's vertical or horizontal or diagonal or a curved line or a circle. And the fact that there's a solid and the void. I'm not a painter, like I'm not a sculptor. <laughs> and I'm an artist. There's something I do, but I breathe it. I, I dream about things, I imagine. The freedom to explore and experiment, that's what I think a painting is. It gives you room to dance around in a circle. I was born in Guyana, South America, in 1949. As a kid, I was very curious about how things was made. I would dismantle anything <laughs> around my home. My mom made a deal with me, like you could dismantle it, but you have to put it back together. <laughs> My approach have always been formal as far as painting and drawing, but I grew up in an area that had a lot of wood builders, carpenters. My mom was a single mom. I watched her make patterns for dresses. I was always curious about a structure and how things were made. So in my approach to making art, have always been tied to structure. Since I was in a country that was ruled by the English, I was exposed to Western tradition, so I looked at everything. I started out as a landscape painter, and then I portraits, and then I decided that actually shaping space would be a way for me to get into playing with forms and abstraction. Looking at Barnett Newman, I saw him as constructing a painting. I decided that I should look at what he've done and apply it in my work. I moved to New York in 1977. I spent two years in PS1 as an artist in residence. Then I lived in Williamsburg. I'm good at building things. I made deals with my, with the, as a landlord. I would build spaces for him. In return, I could live rent free. So that's how I survived. In construction, you have something called a curtain wall, a thin structure that get attached to the wall of a building. So with this piece, I, I made a frame, and instead of attaching it, I used a couple of blocks to block it out, so it's an inch and a half away from the wall. It's a curtain that's floating on the wall with pocket doors. The thickness of a door is an inch and a half. That's a standard thickness. With this piece, I, I made a slit, and this, instead of using an inch and a half, like I have a one-eighth of an inch slit where this sheet just slide in. So it's just all scale, working with scale. And I choose this scale because I wanted this piece to have a relationship to the scale of a person standing in front of it. These drawings are based on the Timari rock writings in Guyana. I'm using that as a guideline, but the forms is completely my own. And the first thing I do is paint the panel red, and then I will make a grid line as a straight lines, where the grid is like as a cross section when two streets meet. And then I go and, and make a freehand line drawing on the surface of that. Structure is more of a heady thing, and a drawing, it's more about feeling and emotion and allowing things to flow. It's a language, a form that just unfolding. Calling it a painting structure, it opened the room for a lot of freedom to explore and experiment, and led me back to a habit I had as a kid of taking things apart and putting them back together. <laughs> 